everyone to pay attention because Dr. Peter Hoffman tells us things about dentistry that I've never heard a dentist really address and talk about. And boy, oh boy, one of his books that we're going to talk about is just, again, so powerful to me that I've recommended it to a a bunch of, of people. And it's called Dentistry Exposed, Protecting You, Your Smile, and Your Wallet. And of course, you can get it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble or whatever. Um, Dr. Hoffman, first of all, thanks so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Let's talk about why you wrote this book. What was it that you saw that people didn't realize as being a dentist that they didn't know about dentistry? Well, there are a lot of myths that people misunderstand about their own mouth. Uh, They don't understand that not all sugars are bad, for instance. Sugar is typically bad, but there's one sugar that's actually good. Um, Pain doesn't always happen when you have a problem in the mouth. Uh, There's apple cider vinegar. It can be a big problem. It causes a lot of tooth decay. But the main reason why I wrote it was because of my own experiences uh, with tooth decay, uh, with strep throat, and finding a way to resolve that very easily. Um, it just motivated me, plus a lot of events that have happened uh, related to patients having problems and my finding a solution that I feel you know, the world needs to know. Yeah. One of the things that, uh, well, in the book you talk about um, myths, you, and you said there you know, you talk about 23 widespread myths. Give us a couple of those myths. Well, I gave you a couple, um, but I'll give you some more. The, uh, the, it's really dangerous to grind your teeth. Uh, some people think that, uh, they, that it's okay to, uh, to, uh, slosh, orange juice in their mouth, that will cause heavy decay. The grinding of teeth will erode teeth away greater than even tooth decay. Uh, You need to be careful with drinking alcohol. Regular mouth rinse alcohol does not cause cancer. Drinking alcohol does because of aldehydes in the wood casting. When they cast um, these drinks for aging, It causes big problems. A medium toothbrush is not good. You should use actually a super soft one, and I recommend one that um, I discovered in writing the book. It's an amazing super soft toothbrush that's very tough. Um, But the uh, specific myths, as I mentioned, the dry mouth myth, people uh, think that a dry mouth uh, is not that serious of a problem, but it will cause massive tooth decay and periodontal disease. Uh, there are a lot of myths related to uh, the whole concept of the way you eat. Uh, you can't be more careful than to stay away from regular sugar. And even carbohydrates are converted into sugar in the mouth. So people think, okay, I'll eat a cookie, it'll be okay. Well, that's converted into sugar in the mouth. Um, and as I said before, the, the whole concept of no pain, if you have no pain, you're okay. No, periodontal disease does not cause pain, typically. And you can have massive problems in the mouth and not have any pain. Yeah, wow. Um, and, and get the book and you'll find out even more. I mean, it'll, it'll scare you. It'll make you realize there's things that you probably had no idea that you were, were doing. And you say protecting you, your smile, and your wallet. I think some people, Doc, are afraid to go to the dentist because they think they're going to be told you owe you know $20,000 and you have 15 different things wrong with your mouth. Um, to me, it's just, it's just kind of all over the map as to what's being charged and whatever. Is that what you found? Yeah, it's true. The deep cleanings and crowns can vary in price tremendously. And a lot of times people do not need either one of those. Um, 
one has to be careful and get a second opinion when you get these big uh, estimates for tooth care. If you have a dentist that, you know, you've, you've for many years have just gone in to have your teeth cleaned, and then all of a sudden you move or, or you have to have a new dentist and, and, and they give you this big treatment plan, I would definitely give, get a second opinion. Um, and you should be careful uh, on the treatment that you choose. There are many uh, reasons not to do crowns. You don't want to always crown a tooth. It can actually weaken the tooth. If you have a small tooth and you cut away all the way around, it's going to weaken the neck of the tooth. So there are reasons to be extra careful. And one thing I, I do want to emphasize, if you don't mind, is that the mouth, and people don't realize this, the mouth is the cause or the area where, where people get five of the most deadly diseases. So our mouth is so important for smiling and speaking and breathing, but that's the location of where we find five of the major causes of death. And and the first one is heart disease. Uh, people don't know this, but uh, the uh, the research for the last 10 years has shown that periodontal disease leads to the flow of bacterium into the bloodstream, which weakens the heart muscle. And then you have the whole problem with pneumonia. As you get older and uh, maybe you develop dementia or Alzheimer's, or if you're just bedridden, when you're lying down, that plaque can be breathed into your lungs, causing gram-negative pneumonia, which is the major cause of death in the United States. Wow. And this was before COVID. Wow. Now with COVID, it's much worse. Wow. And then you got mouth cancer and pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, diabetes, and sleep apnea. All of those independently cause over 38,000 deaths in the United States per year. Each one is more than that amount. Sleep apnea itself causes 38,000 deaths per year. Yeah, so scary. And again, the book is Dentistry Exposed, protecting you, your smile, and your wallet. And you can get it on uh, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. We have a couple of minutes left to talk about your next book, and this is so different that I want to mention it: uh, Cosmic Crossroad Countdown. Tell us about this novel. Well, it sounds like a novel, but it's actually true, and uh, it has a lot to do with the invisible war that we're fighting right now. Um, the first book, written in 2017, warned of what would happen, and it had six other insights that have come true. The new book that I'm writing now is a sequel to it and explains everything in detail of what's going on and why people missed it. And it was uh, a very um, subtle uh, warning it was like the Bethlehem star of the time of Jesus, but now we have a we had a an array of events, including heavenly stars that all pointed to this invisible agent that would or attack that would happen and it's happened as stated with not only the COVID but cyber attacks by the the breakdown of society, the new beginnings that have happened all around us. It's affected every part of our our well-being Mm -hmm. and every level of society. So we're seeing uncertainty, upheaval, all due to this invisible attack. Mm. So you can get both of these books, like I said, and you can read... um one and then go into the other obviously uh dr hoffman thanks so much for coming on the show well thank you for having me and um the book is available at amazon and you can you can get a download yeah the downloads are good because that's what happens you know we're waiting around (laughs) and that's a good way to read it because sometimes we don't we don't always want the physical book because of how our lives are absolutely doc it was a pleasure we'll talk to you again soon thanks for coming on thank you 
All right, so thanks to uh, Dr. Hoffman again. Boo, boy, oh boy, when you think of your mouth, he's right, and you think of the sugars, and you think of uh, apple cider vinegar. It'll scare you when you look at this book, but it will help you, that's for sure. No question about that. Thanks for listening to the show, everybody. Remember, make it count. <laughs>